Hello everybody, this is Maniac 4 Bricks, and I'm here with a first impression after building 70671 Lloyd's Journey from Ninjago. I actually don't know anything about the season that this set takes place in, but it still looks like a cool, no pun intended, set, so I thought I'd pick it up back in late 2020, and it was right before it was retired, so I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't want to go through the nose of it. Originally retailed for $15, 81 pieces, three minifigures, two? It's got an animal. I don't know if you want to count it as a minifigure, but I digress. Either way, it's a neat little set. It was pretty simple to build, but it still had a lot of flavor to it. I do like the different parts that are used in here, from the medium azure to the dark red, and it didn't break, which is also good. A little bit of light aqua as well, just for uh, something interesting in there. It's a pretty simple build as far as this fortress outpost kind of thing, where you basically sit this figure on top of here. Not enough room to fit him underneath, unfortunately, and not much room for anything else there, It just kind of for the, the height of it. And basically on top of here, you have this stud launcher, which can be moved around, you can even turn it, and accidentally move the roof, and uh, it also fires one by one studs, which I put on the back for now because I didn't want to lose them. Um, that part is kind of cool. It's kind of like a miniature fortress kind of vibe to it. Again, like an outpost or something. So I could see this as a thing that you could easily get enough parts and try to build up the rest of it to make a little, you know, enclosure to it. Maybe even heighten it a little bit more so that way it can actually be useful space underneath here for some tools or whatever. I would have liked that they just added a crate piece in here just to keep all these studs in place, but... Putting them on the plate itself is fine, and I do like that this piece in Light Blue is Gray exists, and is available in here. You also have Lloyd, which has a really nice outfit to him. I don't know if it's exclusive to the set, but it looks really nice, and it's nice to have here. I think the uh, torso has been used in build a minifigure bins before at the LEGO stores, so that's kind of neat, getting it in other options. Apparently, holding the blade down is incorrect. I put it that way just because I was so used to it. But apparently it's supposed to go blade up. I did not uh, actually know that until reading the instructions for this set. And then they have this extra blade that's in here encased in ice. Which fits very nicely but sometimes does get stuck in the piece itself. And this wolf, I have no idea what it is or what it has to do with Ninjago. I think there's another character that looks like her. I don't know if it transforms into it. Whatever the case, it's still a neat, unique piece for a small set. So I do appreciate that. In summary, this is basically reminding me of some of the older ninja sets back in the late 90s. Like, before Ninjago was a thing, and what I thought Ninjago was going to be, like a newer version of the ninja theme. But, um, even though it didn't turn out that way, this set gives me a lot of that vibe with very simple, yet useful parts you could play around with as a small set for 15 bucks, and even, you know, other accessories you could use, you could use here as decoration, or as uh, actual throwing objects. So, it's a nice little set. I don't think it's easy to come by nowadays, at least sealed, because it's retired. But it's pretty easy to find the parts and try to build this thing up for yourself. So let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.